How's my hair look today? It looks like crap. Well, we did our first round of washing, and what I mean by first round of washing, normally I'll do a light wash. Well, I wash to get all the dirt off and get the dirt off the motor, and then that way I can start the motor back up, get the motor hot, pickle the motor, and help dry the motor, especially if any water got in it or in the water that's on it, so it'll just burn off. So that's what we just did. Kyle's cleaning up, trying to get the water off of it so we can put it in the car garage because unfortunately my trailer i picked it up thursday took it back friday and i gotta wait till probably wednesday to pick it back up because it, once i got it here just found some stuff wrong with it so i wanted them to get it fixed since it was a brand new trailer and i didn't even had it 24 hours so go ahead and clean up and get this all this up um so update from update from yesterday's race we everything got canceled here and in South Georgia so we decided we were going to go to North Alabama completely opposite direction or probably where we should have went just for uh, drive sake but it was four and a half hours from here to there so we went up to East West Raceway finally got it figured out I'm not calling it Speedway or Cartway but uh went up there took the animal we we're gonna run both of their open classes small block open classes and that's what we did we got there track is kind of goofy on never seen one quite like that before you got a get that sun from beaming in there on the camera um from turn one to turn three it's all downhill from turn three back to turn one it's all uphill and i'm not talking like if you guys right here know uh valdosta or see there i said valdosta again uh, South Georgia Cartway, it's the same, kind of the same way, but this is way more uphill. Like it's, you're, it's steeper. No, 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 that's the word, but it's actually pretty fast. We broke 11-2, I think on the track and, uh, we were, well, let me back up. So we got there and looked at the track, figured we'd try. I think we tried a 13, or no, we started off on a 14, went out for practice, just not enough RPMs, and couldn't get the motor to come up, so dropped down to a 13, same thing, went back out, next round of practice, same thing, couldn't get the motor to come up, so we put a 12 on it for qualifying, it, and RPMs came up, and obviously we got faster, and the motor was doing what we were trying to do with it and but off of start with gas pedal start under load it it would stumble and then once you got going it would go so it was taking about a lap and a half to get going so we qualified last in the first race qualified seventh eighth in the next race and we run a 12 a 12.50 something in qualifying for the first race and a 12 some 12 12.0 12, 12 almost broke 11 in the second race i have to go back and look but um at the tack uh and then we go out what well, we call tim the whiz of the, of the engines and call him tell him what it's doing he has us go through the carburetor move the needle turn the the, the air bleed or whatever it is on the side and tells us to go back out and run the race well we go out to the race and we we go from a 12 5 for this one for this race to 11 5 11 6 so we gained a second by working on the carburetor and then we go out for the next race we we were on 11 2 but i think i messed up on the gear by adding a tooth when i should have dropped a tooth because uh, in the first race we went from last to third or second to last there's some dude that jumped in behind us on the start i think we qualified last or next to last. i can't remember but if you watch the video i've already posted it we come from second from last to third and then on a restart the guy passes us and then you know like we said it took a a good a little bit of time to get the momentum back up and when we come around the other side of the guy you know i don't not on purpose but 
then it got stuck on the hot side and that track if you're out of the groove it's all dust like they they only wet it and the, they didn't wet it all night so it was all dust and he spun out went backwards into the the dirt berm because it's got a dirt berm all the way around it loose dirt and um he backed into that and when it did it folded the chain guard over the sprocket locked down the chain so we couldn't even if we could get it restarted you know it wouldn't have moved forward they had to carry it off the track because it wouldn't roll and uh that ended that race. We go back to the next, for, get ready for the next race. Um, put a tooth on the rear and go out. We were faster at 11, 11 0, or 11 2, but everybody else had got faster too, so it just didn't work out for us. Uh, but all in all, the track is fun. Go up there, some pointers for the track. Like I said, you're going downhill, uphill. Um, it's red clay. It's it's nice clay. It, it, never raced on it before. Never raced there before. But we seem to do all right. And then uh, make sure you take extra weight with you. We ended up adding almost probably 12 pounds because every time we go across scale, they tell us we were light. We were at we were at 370. So we added what we thought was five pounds, and we went there back and they said you were bouncing between 374 to 375 so we went back another added another five pounds and then, then they tell us we were only at 378 and you know, make sure you go there with some extra weight because their scales whew, they're according to my scales and then listen to everybody else talk that they had to add 10 to 15 pounds just to meet the scale minimum over there and it's something that i mean it might be in the rule book but never saw it before but the dude was measuring our seat height so at the back of the seat couldn't be lower than 14 like and it was dead on the money at 14 um, that he put it in there. And then he was like, this is pretty close. Got a straight edge. And then when we come back through, he went to, wanted to measure it again. And I'm like, you've already checked this once. So we didn't move it. Uh, but he was, he measured that might be a rule. Never heard of it. Nobody's ever told me about it. You know, make sure I don't go above or below 14 from the ground. Like he was stuck it on the scales and then ran it up and to the back of the seat. Um, pretty sure it's a rule huh? it looks at I don't know we'll probably adjust the seat just a little bit to bring it up so we know we're within that rule limit but they checked it and I think he checked a couple other carts too uh, but yeah that's my little deal about rebel speedway we'll be back I mean it was awesome little track had fun um, thank you Eddie and the crew for having the place to race uh, thank Tyler for letting us use your spot wish you could have been there um tim for the motor and being able to call him and 20 30 minutes on the phone trying to figure out the carburetor and got it to where we could we made it further up the end of the race i mean we were running third there for a little bit and then daniel for jumping in the seat and racing you know i was just ready to go race again and luca was doing other things and it was four and a half hours up there. We tried to come back last night, but we ended up pulling over to a gas station and sleeping for a couple hours. And then we finished coming on home this morning. And then I've been laying on the couch because, like I said, I about broke my ankle yesterday. I think I fell asleep once or twice, probably the whole time. <laughs> but we had to get out and clean the go-kart. You know, I don't like it sitting there. Or at least this one sit that long with dirt on it. I'll have to get out there tomorrow and uh pull all the bearings out and go through the bearings but once again we went to rebel speed or not rebel we went to east west speedway or raceway dang it so many raceway speedway cartways y'all need to come up with one name <laughs> um it's at woodland alabama it used to be called bailey's i think and uh yeah so look it up find them on facebook i'll try to put a link in them below here if, if i can put a facebook link in here to their to their page and um uh so peace out like share and subscribe and uh that's it thanks